All right, welcome folks. Hi, this is uh, an unusually timed stream for me. If you're watching the recording, it doesn't matter, but if you're watching live, this is uh, in the evening local time. Normally I stream in the mornings or the afternoons. Uh, our, our little baby is asleep for the day. I was watching him today. I'll be watching him the next couple weeks. But uh, in about three weeks, we'll be back to the normal streaming schedule, just FYI. Apologies to the European viewers who will have to watch this on the recording, especially Berninator, who never misses a stream. Shout out to Berninator. I'm sorry it's the middle of the night. It's like, it's like 2 a.m. his local time, so I don't think he'll be here today. But uh, maybe we'll pick up some people who otherwise normally can't see me stream. Okay, so we're going to do a little more Dicey Dungeons, which I've been using as kind of this intro game for the last couple weeks. Try to show the other remaining two characters I haven't shown yet, and then we'll hop over to Endless Space 2, continue the Vultures game, and just see how long that runs. Perhaps we'll run some Teamfight Tactics double up, we'll see, because like I see Grillo's here, and I think Headwinder was around and messaging, but uh, let's go ahead and get started and we'll see how much time, how tired I end up being, and how long I want to run this for. Okay, happy Friday indeed. Welcome Headwinder, welcome Grillo. All right, so the two classes I have not shown are the Inventor and the Jester. I will go ahead and start with the Inventor, and we'll try to do both of them, because these runs fortunately do not take very long. Uh, Inventor is not one of my favorite of the six classes. I don't really care for this one. The Inventor's gimmick is that the Inventor basically destroys a piece of equipment after every fight, and uses it to create an in-battle effect, which is to the standard rules. So you basically have to constantly be sacrificing equipment, and I don't love that. Um, it's not my favorite mechanic, so like if you see we start out with the hammer, which is a pretty good weapon. The spanner, which synergizes well with the hammer, and the pea shooter, which is a very weak weapon. But after every fight we have to lose one of these, so you have to constantly be getting more equipment. That said, you can kind of protect two pieces of equipment. So like in your inventory you can protect two of them. All right, anyway, we'll burn all dice. We'll put the shock on this guy. Pea shooter for one. There's not a lot we can do right now. Okay, so he can do five damage to us, but he's dead on his turn, so it doesn't really matter. All right, easy enough. <laughs> Drink some Red Bull like a true streamer. That is Liz. Uh, okay, so out of these three, the, the worst one is the spanner, so we'll just get rid of that. Let's see what we get in the chest. Okay, sword's useful, very simple. Just do blank damage. Crossbow is not very useful. All right, so out of these, um, let's try to sacrifice the pea shooter next round. Because the pea shooter is pretty terrible. Sword is also something I'm probably not gonna keep long term. Oh boy, this is a terrible roll. <laughs> this is a truly terrible roll. Uh, we do three damage no matter what. Good thing we uh, will heal after the end of this turn because we will level up after this fight. Uh, now, oh my god, <laughs> we rolled two ones, oh my goodness. Hello, hi Willow. Hey, Light's here too, welcome. I'm sure I'm picking up people that are more on, um, like, uh, the west coast, and maybe we pick up some people that are in Australia or East Asia, who normally might not be able to make the stream. Okay, so if we want, we can use our limit break. Uh, this person can't kill me on this turn, so I'm gonna see if I can kill him naturally to save the limit. But uh, I will have to use it probably on this turn, because it's possible I could die on the upcoming turn. Alright, so we can just kill this person anyway. We can battle wrench for the shock, not that it matters, because that's a kill. Yeah, I haven't seen Light in a while, but I hope you're doing well, Light. Light was our... and I'm going to sacrifice the pea shooter, as I said, that was the plan. Um, Light joined us for about a million Gloomhaven games at the height of the pandemic. Okay, I don't think the buzzer is very good at all, but I'm going to probably toss the buzzer... Um, in here, just so I can sacrifice the buzzer next turn. Because I have to give up something. Okay. Uh, let's go see what's in that chest, shall we? Alright, so this would probably be a good time to use our limit. No, well. So, we probably want to minimize how much damage we take. So let's do this. Six. We get the shock. Now, this guy's weak to shock, so I believe he takes extra damage from that. Yeah, he took 12 instead of 6. We can shock him again. So he's going to have to sacrifice one of these die, and he's going to do one damage. 
Liz and I played a lot of Gloomhaven as well. We played the, the offline, act, the, the actual game. Anyway, so that was easy enough. And the buzzer is what we're getting rid of, as mentioned before. All right, healing crystal good, we'll sacrifice that. So right now I'm just playing through the hammer and the sword. These are both useful weapons. So I'm just protecting these two. And the healing crystal is actually pretty good as well. Um, but it, I need to hold damage. <laughs> cultist. Uh, Light and Gorilla, do you remember the cultist? <laughs> oh wow, I, I actually have a perfect turn here. Read six damage, six damage shock, recover three. Perfect turn. So he's gonna burn me, but uh, I auto heal after this round, so it's not that big a deal. Right, unfortunately, we don't have a six, so we can't shock, but. Uh, we can't actually kill him this turn, unfortunately. So it's actually, technically, it's better to do this. Oh, uh, we could have used the limit break, but I'd rather save that for the next round. Alright, so he's gonna get a dodge, but we should be able to kill him easily. We just have to kill his dodge. Dodge is, uh, they auto avoid the next attack. Alright, so kill his dodge, and we can click these dead. Alright, so we auto heal. So now we have to sacrifice something. We already decided we wanted to get rid of the healing crystal. And out of these, none of these are especially good, but I think the flamethrower is a little bit more useful. It's only a once per battle, but we'll probably just sacrifice that pretty quickly. Probably our next thing to be sacrificed. Okay, store time. So the store is pretty useful for this class because you can... Um, Ooh, there's a dagger here. Ooh. <laughs> now, the dagger is not as good for this class as it is for the thief, because remember, the, the limit break for this class turns everything into a six. Um, but I think I'll probably still buy it anyway. Let's see what we can do with an upgrade. We can turn the hammer into a one slot. The sword upgrade is actually not that great. This is not that good. <laughs> How about the crossbow? Does this become better? That actually becomes pretty decent, nine to do nine damage. But with two slots, I still think we can do better than that. Um, <laughs> I think the I think upgrading the hammer makes the most sense out of these because then we can then we have an extra slot. The hammer will just stay in our inventory the whole game because the hammer is quite good. Okay, so we'll toss this in and we don't care. We can lose the flamethrower or the crossbow. Either one, we don't care. We're still protecting hammer and sword. Um, and I probably will purchase the dagger too just so I have another thing to sacrifice. All right. Interesting. So we can turn this into a six as well if we want. Sure, it's kind of a waste, but it does allow us to do this. And also shock. We're at full health, so that doesn't do anything. Uh, yeah, trying to minimize how much damage I take here. Okay, so he actually can do eight even with that. Which is a little bit annoying. But we'll heal three back right here, so that's nice. And this guy's dead. Well, I mean, like, our meter is already almost full again, so it wasn't a waste to use our limit break there. Now we just need Rekenner, who is our other Gloomhaven partner, to come here. Okay, so Flamethrower is the one we're sacrificing. We said it was just whichever one of those. Alright, fortunately we can heal here and grab another chest. Leather armor. Okay, leather armor is not terrible, but again, it's something we're happy to sacrifice. Uh, now, do I want to buy the dagger for three? I think I'll hold the... Well, no. I'm going to buy it just as something else to sacrifice. <laughs> uh, we did the, so we, we we had that one round where we set things up so that um, the sorceress did, what was it, like, uh, it was like 200 and something damage in one turn, something crazy like that. Alright, so we can shock him here, do this, uh, that wasn't worth doing, so we can probably use the blowtorch on the next round. Also we got shock, excellent, he's gonna have to waste one of his die. Okay, we do have the limit up, but I think we can kill him without it here. Yeah, we can definitely kill him without it. Six, and that'll do nine. Or we could have just hit him with the sword. Easy enough. So, like, the, the inventor's setup is good. It's just you're constantly losing your equipment every turn. Okay. Uh, this is not that amazing. Let's drop the leather armor. And we'll just toss the dagger in here. Dagger's mostly just there to get sacrificed. All right, what else do we have? Duplicate. Now, duplicate's really good. But it does take up two slots. Um, this also sacrifices for an insane value. It doubles every dice on the board. So I might try to save this and use it as a sacrifice on the turn right before the final boss. Like here, you can see this is the gadget preview. So you can see it duplicates all dice, which is insanely powerful. It just doubles all your dice. All right, what else is in here? 
Okay, so this is nice because it'll always be offered as scrap. Let's see what we have in the stores. Okay, so we're definitely buying this. This only costs one gold, so that's an easy sacrifice. Um, we're probably prefer so now we have a lot of stuff to sacrifice if we want. So we can basically keep protecting Hammer Sword. I, I, the sword is actually not that amazing, but I haven't found anything better. Um, we'll see. Keyblade is pretty good. I don't mind holding on to that. Let's see if we can get something better than I, I most want to upgrade the sword slot right now. I think I can do better than that. Anyway, this is a good time to use our limit break because we have a lot of dice that are um, not sixes. <laughs> well, she got a six as well. Oh, she wasted one of her die. Look at that. She had to waste one to uh, get rid of that. And the uh, damage reduction actually came in pretty handy there. Now, this is a terrible dice roll, unfortunately. Very little we can do with this. Like, we can hit with the dagger, but it doesn't really matter. We're going to do four damage no matter what. We can use it however we want, but uh, it's a pretty bad turn. Sometimes you can just get stuck with that. All right. Fortunately, she can only do four damage here, two and two. So that could have been a lot worse. The uh, damage product, uh, protect, like the damage block, is actually pretty handy. All right. I mean, we should be able to kill on the upcoming turn. Might be worthwhile to upgrade the dagger for low rolls like that, because like when you roll low, it could be useful to um, get the plus one on the dagger. The dagger increases damage by one if you use it. All right, so we can do nine here. So we'll just do nine, and that finishes her off. Let's see what we lose this turn. Uh, well, I don't want to lose the sword of the cross or the hammer, so I guess it's the crossbow. As I said, the crossbow is not not that amazing. Let's see what else we can get here. Oh, okay. Now we got our sword replacement. All right. So the two things we're protecting are broadsword and hammer. These two are very good, both of them. So we'll just protect these two. And um, like the dagger's good, but the dagger's not amazing. Be uh, largely because of the limit break gives you sixes instead of ones with this character class. Okay. So uh, yeah, we'll just do this. We'll get rid of the scrap metal. Anything useful at the store? At the store? Oh, we have another upgrade, but we, mm, we can't afford it. But we can buy the shovel. That's pretty good. I wish I, uh, hmm, I wish I hadn't bought the dagger, and I wish I had money for this, but that's okay. All right, we now have enough equipment that we're not going to run out for the whole game, so we should be good. We should be good now. But yeah, dagger was a mistake to purchase that. Oh well, not the end of the world. So we have a really good gadget right now. Five damage. Uh, Keyblade you always want to use. It's just a free three damage. We can't get the shock, but that's okay. We'll just take the one shield. Did a decent amount of damage, but we'll be fine. I mean, we can easily kill him here. Okay. And we have stuff to heal up on. Alright, so the scrap metal pops up. So we'll get rid of that. All right. And I don't have enough money to buy anything else. We do have an empty inventory slot. Uh, so we have to lose Keyblade or Dagger if we go with this current setup. Let's, uh, we'll just put the shovel in here for right now. Okay, uh, let's go see what's in this chest. Anyway, things are coming along well. Do we want to limit break here? Obviously, we want to use the shield. Uh, that does mean we can't use the dagger. Oh, you know what we can do? Use the dagger, then limit break. And we get weaken and shock. That's a good turn. And we have free shield. <laughs> Fortunately for him, he actually does have a six, so he can actually use this. <laughs> he actually had a really good roll on his turn, too. And this should be plenty to kill this guy. Nah, yeah, this is this will do it. We have a very good setup right now. I just wish I didn't have to keep losing equipment. Uh, out of these, the dagger is only one slot, so I think I'm gonna toss the shovel. All right. So let's put the keyblade in here. Hammer, broadsword are the two we're protecting. I would like Whisper to be the one I get rid of, but if I have to sacrifice the other ones, it's okay. Not the end of the world. That's why we bought some extra equipment. Alright, 
Keyblade, it's free damage. We don't have anything to use this. We want the shock there. Broadsword, this. Unfortunately, we have a leftover four we can't use, but that's that. So he will be able to curse us if he wants. Okay. He can curse us, but that's at the cost of doing zero damage. So uh, the blind means you can't see the dice value. Curse means all equipment has a 50% chance to fail. Disappears once triggered. So we want to use this on uh, stuff we don't care if we lose it. So let's try using it. All right, so there's the curse. That's fine, though. I used it on the thing I cared least about first. So do seven damage. We're going to be not able to use that, but that's okay. We already have weakened three on this guy. Oh, he won't be able to curse us now. So he basically just blinded us and did one damage. So his turn was horrible. And we are not cursed, okay? So we want the shock to go through. Uh, we don't know what this is. All right, well, it's higher than three. So let's get our free damage, do this. I should have done this in the opposite order, shouldn't I? Oh, well, he's on one HP. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I was getting too caught up in it. And anyway, we took one damage. So that was a pretty good fight. Let's see what we lose. Whisper? Whisper! There we go. Able to get rid of the weakest piece of equipment we had. Okay. Electromagnet is another one of those things that's like, eh, it's okay. Just toss that in. Keyblade, I wouldn't mind hanging around either. Keyblade's pretty useful. It's just free damage. All right, that does not look like that weakened him. Okay, so how do we want to do this? We don't have any sixes, unfortunately. Uh, I wouldn't mind this, just because it does increase the damage each time you use it. It doesn't matter which one of these we use it on, the effect's the same. Oof, he got a good roll. Fortunately, he wasn't able to use the other one. And fortunately, he locked a, a, a one. That could have been a lot worse. All right. Uh, see, the problem is I need seven to use this. I have a five and a one, so it's not worthwhile to use this this turn. We'll just use our other equipment then. We uh, heal after this battle, so it's not a big deal. He's a little unlucky he's not getting any cores here, because he has not been able to use that. Ugh. Get this. I have limit break up, but I, I... Wait, do I heal after this battle? I believe I do. If I'm remembering correctly, I heal after this battle, so... That's why I'm not going to use my Limit Break, because I believe I get a free heal after this is over. Otherwise, I would have used it there, because I'll tank more damage this turn. Fortunately, he's going to be one short on his Beetle Headbutt, but I'm pretty sure I get the Auto Heal after this. Anyway, he's dead. Yep, we got the heal. So, out of these options... Um, the dagger is not really doing that much for me. Oh, okay. So we get a ch Ooh, we get a chance to copy equipment. Or we can upgrade something. So the broadsword we can upgrade to... Oh, wait, no, I'm actually on copy right now. Is there something I wanted to copy? The keyblade would not be terrible. I think we want to upgrade, though. Because we have, like, enough extra stuff. This just adds more damage. That actually is pretty nice, too. Um, actually, I think this is better than the broadsword because um, this means I can run all three of these, and it also gives me something to do with excess sixes. Broadsword's just one damage. Sword is just plus one damage. Keyblade is just plus one damage, yeah. I think this is actually better. Okay. But uh, now I want to protect this. I want to save this now, so I'm going to take it out. Might seem bizarre, but now I want to protect this. So I'm playing through Hammer Broadsword. We'll save this. We'll swap this in at the end. Okay. You have to do all this inventory management, which can be annoying. And hey, we can probably upgrade the broadsword over there, too. Alright. Six dice. Let's turn these into sixes. So we get our free damage. Six damage. Let's see, what can, we, what can we steal? Okay, I'm not really interested in that. I'd rather just hit him for more damage. Uh, that looks like a good roll for him, but he actually can't do a whole lot with it. He can curse me enough to do one damage. It's not much of a turn for him. Alright. Uh, let's see if we can kill the curse. Nope. We're not able to kill the curse there. Let's try using the sword. Okay. Want the shock. Can we steal anything? Alright. That 
does not let us do anything. But uh, he's dead on his next turn. This is the worst roll for us. If he rolled double threes, he can use the threes on the claw. So that's kind of a bad roll for us, but oh well. He's still dead. He's still very dead. Uh, our weapons are pretty strong with this setup. Okay, so what are we losing here? We want to protect these two, so it's got to be the Keyblade, unfortunately. We like the Keyblade, but can't protect everything. Ray Gun. We'll just stick the Ray Gun in that slot. Ray Gun is not very good at all, but it's fine. Alright, we'll grab that to heal, and we're going to try to work our way over to the store. One thing I do like about this game is you can play through pretty quickly. Oh good. Anytime we get the sixes, it's nice, because that means we can shock the uh, other team. Okay. So out of this... Let's see. So we'll want to do this. Um, I'll do this. This is going to leave the one unable to be used, but that's okay. It's still a better turn to do it that way. Uh, he did not get a very good roll. Yeah. Oh, he actually was not able to use his cardboard sword, which is his main damaging tool. But he did lock out two dice. Ugh. He did make my turn garbage, unfortunately. This is where the limit break would be nice, because I can't really do anything with these dice. Very little I can do this turn, so he's probably going to hit me pretty hard here. He's going to get that 9 damage uh, hit, but as I said, not much I could do about that. But we can probably kill him here. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I think we have just enough to kill him with the limit break. We actually had enough by a decent margin. The uh, Limit Break is one of the strongest aspects of this class. Oh, we get the Plasma Gun. Nice. Okay. Take this to heal. Uh, let's see what's in the chest. Lightning Rod. Okay, the Lightning Rod is pretty terrible. It is uh, not good. But we don't want to lose something we care about. So let's put it in for right now. Should be able to kill this guy with just the Hammer and the Broadsword. I'm still trying to protect Electromagnet. Fortunately, just the hammer and the, uh... Like, just these two are... Oh, we also have the Plasma Gun, which is nice. Like, just these two are pretty strong. Like, we did, what, 16 damage? And I didn't have an especially amazing roll. Alright, he got a pretty bad roll here. So, the Rat King, every time he rolls the dice, uh, he'll roll, he does one poison damage and then rolls another die. So like you can see over time he'll stack up the poison, but like that first turn was pretty weak for him. Okay, again we're pretty much just using our, this is like a very non-complicated setup here. We're just using our highest dice. That's a better roll for Rat King there. He'll probably cycle through, I'd say four out of the five, or four out of the six I think he'll get. He might get... Let's see if he manages to get the fifth one. It just has enough. Actually, he might be able to get through all six if he gets a good roll. Oh, nope, he got a great last roll. So he did manage to go through all six of them. Good last roll there. So we'll take six poison damage, but then he's dead. So. I wish we'd be able to get shock on the previous round, but we should be fine. All right, Lightning Rod. Thank you, Lightning Rod. You, sac you did nothing other than just sit there and sacrifice for us. All right, what can we get at the store? Oh, we could get the scrap, but mm, but I don't want the scrap metal because now I want to sacrifice the counterfeit. That's the plan. So we're going to sacrifice counterfeit this round, and then we'll have hammer, sword, broadsword, electromagnet for the for the final boss fight. So let's go ahead and upgrade the broadsword. It's all coming together. Oh, we might as well heal because we have nothing else to do with our money. Not that this guy's likely to kill us. Yeah, Lightning Rod was a Lightning Rod for sacrifice. It did its job. It's, it, it was sacrificed at the end of the round. All right. Uh, now, interestingly enough, I can't really use most of the dice with my current setup, but I'm, I'm basically running a suboptimal setup just to get ready for the final boss fight here. So I'm surprised he chose to go for that. Oh, it's because he had got the heal out of it. Anyway, we're definitely going to save our limit break for the boss. Well, we'll duplicate the five. It's not going to be enough to kill him, but I mean, he's not going to kill us from 32 HP. He got a terrible roll, too. He can't do anything with this. Two damage. Alright, this should be plenty to kill him. There we go. That'll do it. Didn't get any sixes. Alright, so now we sacrifice counterfeit. Counterfeit. Duplicate all dice is insanely good. Alright. Now we got our final setup. Electromagnet slots in. 
Hammer, Broadsword, Electromagnet, Sword. This should be pretty good. It's unfortunate that this costs seven, because um, you have to use two dice no matter what, but it's a place where we can toss. Um, so basically, when you have a setup like this, you want a place where you can toss your extra dice, because like when you get all these sixes, you're going to have extra dice left over. The Electromagnet gives us a place to toss our leftover dice, is the basic thing. All right, so we get five dice. We clone all the dice. We limit break the dice. Oh, oh, that's a pretty sight. <laughs> that's 10 sixes. As I said, this is a bit wasteful because we have to use, oh, we can't use it multiple. I thought it was multiple uses in one turn. I am wrong. I thought it was multiple uses in one turn. I am wrong. We just wasted a billion sixes. Um, <laughs> that's, that's my bad. I actually thought that you could use it multiple times in one turn. Oh, wow. Well. We still have a pretty good setup here. Okay. Ooh. Or do we? That weaken actually hurt a lot. We can do six here. Unfortunately, we can only do this here. Maybe I should have kept the pea shooter around. You can use the pea shooter multiple times. Or maybe we should have gone for the... Maybe we should have gone for, like, the crossbow instead. Oh, well. Uh, she's just going for the weekend, it appears. Okay. I mean, that's fine. I mean, like, weakening the equipment is obviously not great. But, uh, like, she's only done 8 damage, and I've done a lot more than 8 damage. Sad that we didn't get any 6s that turn. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, we can easily do this. So, yeah, it is sad I have these dice I'm not able to use. Uh, unfortunately for her, she hasn't been able to use these evens. So, like, she's been doing six damage, but, and weakening, but it's like, well, yeah. Okay, well, if you just want to see all the sixes again. Anyway, that'll do it. Not that tough of a fight. So, we did the, we had the appropriate prep ahead of time, but, uh, Electromagnet was the wrong choice. Um, I should have had something that was multi-use in that slot. So that was a bit of a mistake in my planning. I thought it was multi-use. I thought you could use it, but I was wrong. You can only use it once each turn. Anyway, so that's the inventor. The gimmick is the whole sacrifice equipment each time. So let's then do the final class, who I haven't shown, the Jester. Liz has been enjoying the Jester recently. So uh, Jester has a, one of the more unique mechanics. You basically have a deck of cards, and you cycle through the deck of cards. So we're just going to do the standard rules again for the Jester. This is actually a secret character you have to unlock but um, it's a pretty easy unlock. Okay, so we get a deck of cards that goes here. Hey, hi, Blood Dust. Welcome, glad you could make it. Uh, we have these boop cards that do two damage. These are weak cards. You wanna try to avoid playing them. Bop cards that do three, also fairly weak cards. And then heal, if above max HP, convert excess to shield. Not the best setup, uh, but we'll get better cards as we go through the dungeon. All right, so. As I said, you get a deck of cards, you get three dice, you always get three dice, with the way that this one goes. Uh, we just finished another character, so not the exact moment of starting a new run. Um, okay, so we can use the three to do three damage. Now, one of the mechanics of this class is if you have matching cards, if two out of the three are the same, you can discard them and cycle to the next cards going through. Your limit break is matching cards can be used for free, so you get to play them for free, which is interesting. Anyway, the best we can do this turn is to hit with this and then hit with this. Uh, we could try to shield, but uh, this guy uses poison and poison ignores shield, so that wouldn't actually do anything for us. Also, one thing that I didn't even realize until Liz was playing this game is that your hand at the end of one turn is the hand that starts at the beginning of the next turn. I actually did not realize that because I don't really pay attention. <laughs> okay, we don't need the sweets. We'll get rid of those. Bop and bop again, and that'll do it. Slurp, slurp. All right, this should be a juggling ball. You always get the juggling ball from this first chest when you play the Jester. Do X damage, get a new dice. A useful card, but you do have to use a low dice roll on it. The basic thing the Jester wants to do is cycle through as many cards as possible. All right, so we don't have the bouncing dice coming up anytime soon. Right now, Bop is our best attack card, so anytime we can play a Bop, we basically want to play a Bop, because as I said, it's our best card right now. Play Boop when we have to. That was a two, it could not be played on the Bop, so. Uh, yeah, okay, so he's gonna set up Fury, but he'll be dead before he gets to use it. So that was perhaps not the wisest choice on his part. 
So like right here, we can boop if we want, but we can also discard to play the juggling ball. Doesn't matter here, but uh, that's what I would have done if the fight had gone on longer. All right, ooh, so we get our options for here. So we got the burn pack. Here's our options. This is kind of this kind of sets up the rest of the gameplay for the Jester. We got the flame one, do uh, these sparks, which cause you to burn a die, and then do six damage for each burning enemy die. Or we've got the snow one, freeze a die, and then do X damage plus three if enemy is frozen. Between these two, the ice one is way better, having tested them both. Uh, and that's because uh, burn is a decent status condition. It just deals damage to the enemy. Freeze really messes up the enemy. It turns their high dice rolls into low dice rolls. So we definitely want the frozen pack. We got the good option there. Okay, uh, so let's keep going. So you can see the idea with these cards is you want to freeze the enemy and then um, blow them up. Oh, we can't, actually can't use the juggling ball. We don't have a we don't have a low dice roll here. That's unfortunate. Okay. Uh, let's save the odd number die because we need that. Unfortunately, we can't use this either. Um, let's do this, and then we can get rid of the boops. Get to the snowflake. Not a particularly good try. I wanted to get to this card, but I couldn't get there, unfortunately. Yes, there are some enemies that uh, definitely don't mind frozen as much as others, but uh, there is a Yeti enemy that's exactly what you're, what you're saying. Okay, so Juggling Ball, we want to get our free card. I want to do this, do 6 damage, but I want to freeze him first. So we know there's a Snowflake coming up, so we want to get rid of that card. So we can freeze him, and now this becomes a 9 damage card. Boom. And he's also frozen. So that, this, this is like the setup you're trying to do. See how the, the that really messes up his turn by turning the 4 into a 1? It's just like he can't do anything on his turn. It just wrecks his hand. All right, now we don't have any of those cards coming up, so we can just play for damage here. Um, we'll do this. And I don't think we can kill him this turn, unfortunately. Maybe if we can cycle through a whole bunch of boops. <laughs> Maybe if we can cycle through a bunch of boops. Let's just see if we can get over to a better card. Yep, we were, oh, 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 wait, we can. We can get over here to Ice Shatter, boom. We're gonna just, just keep cycling through the cards until we get to the one we want. There we go. Yeah, ones are not bad. Liz is absolutely right. Ones are good for the Thief class. They're not bad for the Robot class either. All right, anyway, so we do have the chance to upgrade something. Um, this card is actually pretty good to upgrade. It deals double damage if enemies frozen. I might go for that, but I want to see what else I can get on this floor first. Bump is nice. Dice value plus one. Um, see, when you're playing a class like, say, the Warrior, and you have limited inventory space, you have to be like, oh, is the bump worth taking because it takes up inventory space? Not an issue for the, um, the Jester. You basically have unlimited inventory space, so it's pretty much always worthwhile to pick this up. There's, like, no real trade-off there. Oh, we can get another one of these. Oh, this is a really good card. Deal blank damage on six inflict a freeze. That's an excellent card. That's really good. Because um, we want to freeze the enemy, right? But we don't really want to waste a die just on freezing. Because, like, this deals no damage. But, like, with this, if we can get a six, we can inflict freeze, and then we can hit for big damage. So we really want sixes now. Anyway, that's a great card. And then if we want, we can destroy a card, too, which I will probably do. Uh, the cards I want to get rid of are these sweets. These are just these are just wasted in the hand. They're not things I want to waste time on. But anyway, let's fight this guy so then we can see what's in the chest. And then we'll fight the wizard last. We still haven't even gotten a snap off yet, which is pretty interesting. Okay, so we've got snowflakes coming up. We can get the boops out of our hand. As you probably noticed, I pretty much never want to play Boots or Sweep. They're just not very good cards. So the whole thing is just like trying to get rid of these things. Um, I can Snowflake this guy, and Freeze actually does hurt him, but I don't know if I can play anything else that's useful. I'm just trying to see if I can get to something better. Does not look like I can, so we'll just have to bop here. And that's the best I can do. But at least we'll have the Juggling Ball and Bump available for the next turn. And look at that. Oh, we turned his 6 into a 1. Definitely made this down. He was able to freeze us with that, but probably still better than him getting to hit us with a six. All right. Now, is it worthwhile to limit break here? Uh, the use the snap. Well, first of all, let's do this. We can get a new die. Uh, we can't quite get to a six here. That's unfortunate. Um, I think we can do this. Does it sometimes mess with your jaws? Like, well, it depends, right? 
Uh, for a card like Bump, it's not bad, because you can basically always use it. Alright. I would really like to get over to Ice Shatter. Let's see if... Well, let's bump this up to a 5. Let's do the, use the Freeze here. Okay. I don't think it's worthwhile to use our Limit Break this turn. So we can do 5 damage plus 3 here. That's not bad. Now we would get to play the bot for free. But that's all we get to do. I think I'm just going to chill here and maybe we'll use the Limit Break on the upcoming turn. By the way, we um, heal for free at the end of this fight. So I also might save my Limit Break for the following person. Yeah, look at that. Freeze just completely ruined his turn. Did 1 damage. Now that 6 is going to turn into a 1, which is super annoying. But... Um... Hmm... <laughs> These bops are... Well, we can get rid of the bops. I'm going to try to beat this guy without using my Limit Break just because got a lot of bops and sweets here. These are the weakest cards in my hand. Just trying to get rid of these things. <laughs> Alright. Doing some damage. Now we can bump this. We can juggling ball this. And... That won't quite kill him, but that's the best we can do. Anyway, as I said, we heal after this fight, so that's why I'm being more conservative here. Save the limit break for the next guy. Alright. Um, that'll do. That'll do. The freeze is annoying because it's dropping all my dice down to like one, then I can't do any damage. All right, so we got the most important dice. The most important card in the deck for the Jester is Duplicate. Duplicate, this is the most important card in the deck. So we're going to use our upgrade on that so that we can uh, duplicate any die. This is the most important card in the deck, trust me, because the, the biggest thing limiting the Jester is that you only get three dice. Finale card. This means we take an, can take an extra turn at the end. Uh, you will never see the finale card until you've played every other card. So it's just kind of like a free extra thing. Yeah, the color, I think Liz is right. I think it's just like what type of card it is. They're like, the yeah, I believe that because like the green are like support cards, things like that. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Ah, uh, okay. Well, let's first of all use a juggling ball. Oh, okay, okay. All right. So, we can dice value plus one here. If you use this on a six, you get a six and a one back, which is key, we just get more dice. Duplicate the six. We'll use our limit break here. Matching cards can be used for free. So the sweeps give us shield four. The bops punch him in the face. The boops punch him in the face. Uh, we have not frozen this guy yet, but we can freeze on the very next turn. So let's just clear this card to get it out of the way. All right, six inflictors freeze. So now he's frozen. And then this does 6 plus 3. Boom. One turn. Down. Just like that. That was a good turn. This is what the Jester's about, is setting up combos like that. That was fun. Alright, now we want to get rid of the most useless cards in our deck, which are these sweets. I would get rid of the boops, but it's really you can't really get rid of 4 cards. It's just too many cards to get rid of. But sweets, I can get rid of 2 cards before the end of the game. So we're going to get rid of both of those. I know I had these to heal with, and I didn't end up needing them. Yeah, I, I mean, it just sometimes it comes together. I could see from the beginning of the turn it was going to be a good turn. All right. Cactus next. All right, this is not a very good uh, not a very good hand here, but we can do this. We can freeze, and then we can do six because he's already frozen. And let's freeze another die. This is not a very good turn, but there's only so much I can do. But we just made his hand basically worthless. I guess you can put some thorns on, but... Uh, the two thorns is actually kind of annoying, but... Alright. Um... Alright, so the sweets... I can get rid of the sweets. Just good to clear this. Let's see if we can get rid of these bad cards. Discard, discard, okay. Alright, so we can turn this into a six. And we can get another six. Now we have Lament, so we can do six and freeze. We are going to take two damage from the thorns, but that's unavoidable. Now we can get rid of this. Why did I keep the two earlier in this turn? So that when we cycled the juggling ball, I could use this. Now I did take two damage to do that, so maybe that wasn't worth it, but... Now we can do nine. We actually got our limit break up there. Um, let's just cycle this. It's true. The freeze does get allow him to put his thorns up every turn, so that is true. I didn't really think about that, to be honest. Not as good of a setup, I will agree. Um... We should be able to kill him soon here. Uh, let's let's actually do this. Oh, whoops! I mm. 
that I should not have done that. I was thinking that uh, all my dice become six. I was just thinking of the other character. But we should still be able to kill him here, although I'm taking a lot of retaliate damage. That was, yeah, that was not a good fight. That was way more damage I wanted to take. Uh, well, I didn't actually use Encore. All right. We do heal after this fight, so. So, like, this card wouldn't be worthwhile to put in your limited inventory space, but, like, get a new die. That's always worth cycling through and just getting another die back. So, like, that's useful to put in our hand. Okay. All right, we have Ice Shatter coming up, so let's use the one just to get frozen in place. Um, this is probably still worth doing. Cycle through that. I wish I could get to Lament, but maybe we'll be able to get something good there. Not really. We could do two damage. Let's, uh... You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave this card available for next turn. Let's see what we get. Could have done two more damage, but I don't think it's that valuable. The Drain 4 health is pretty annoying. Okay, well, I've got the Limit Break up, but I don't really have cards. I don't. I can't really use this, unfortunately. Hmm. This is not really a good situation here at all. Because I can't really cycle through these cards. Hmm. Alright, well, we'll just see what we can do here. At least we'll get a new dice back. Okay, this. Alright. We need to get damage here. We need to make sure we don't die. Alright, there's another boop coming up, so let us cycle through to this. There's a bump coming up. Alright. Alright, we're still able to kill him. Not a great turn. Alright, I like taking this. So this cannot be bad. Copy next card. I like taking Warrior Smash. It actually turns the bops into good cards. It's actually random which of these you get as a reward. So you know how we have all these bops in our cards? Or are these... Where are the bops? Like, these cards are kind of lousy cards. With the warrior, they actually become pretty good cards. Like, they become worth having. Alright, what do we have? Uh, these are not worth buying, but I will destroy a card. So I just need to kill this guy. It was only level 2, by the way. I killed the level 2... Killed both of the level 3 monsters first. Alright. Um... We do have some bops coming up, so I think we have to waste around killing this stupid sweet card. <laughs> Had to keep the two for that. Alright, we want to get these very low value cards out of our hand. Get another dice, which is really good. Alright. Okay, so this inflicts freeze. This is We were literally just cycling through our hand to get to this card. Six damage and inflict freeze. There we go. Now this will do eight damage. There we go. And now we can duplicate this. Let's get a new die. Oh, we just got the one back again. Uh, okay. Sure. There we go. <laughs> Made it to the end of our hand. Okay, he's got two ones, so that's not... He's not going to be able to do a whole lot to us here. We actually even have shielding. It, he does get the weakened, but it's not that big a deal. Oh, cool. We need a six, but we have a six. Excellent. Okay, now we don't... Um, actually need an odd... Well, actually, we might not need an odd die here. We can do that. Alright. And we can do nine, or we can just smash with the warrior. Um, that's a good question. I actually don't know that. That's a... I think it's... I believe that what it does... Um, I actually don't know quite how that works. But I do know that it turns Bop into a useful card. Oh, we want to destroy that card. The sweets. Yeah, well, it's like Bump is not bad, but um, getting this sweet out of my hand. I said this is just a dead card in my hand, so I want to get rid of that. So I can cycle through to the good cards more easily. All right. So there's a lot of good stuff here, right? This actually lets you copy a card. Wait, we can just go grab that right now. Okay. So we're going to copy the most important card in the deck, which is Duplicate. Let's just cycle through the deck much more easily. And I would like to get this card again. Lament is a really good card. The on six inflict freeze is awesome. So we need to save up three gold. But there are three monsters here, so we'll be able to do that. Let's go get this upgrade. And I'll have to decide... Oh, wow, that is a horrible roll. <laughs> just a horrible roll. Okay. Well, let's duplicate what we can. 
Maybe we can get a better die. Nope. I guess we got a lot of threes then. <laughs> uh, we're never going to get a six, so I'll just play this card. A lot of low dice this round. Um, the warrior. So let, let's actually do this a test, right? Let's see what we can do. Does this... Alright, so it, it, it did increase the damage by one there, interestingly enough. Okay, I think we do actually want to freeze one die so that the Ice Shatter gets the bonus. Unfortunately, we can't use these, so we'll just toss this into Encore. Not a great... I mean, it feels like a bad turn, but we did do 16 damage and froze his, his uh, 6. Like, so... It feels like a bad turn, but it really wasn't that bad of a turn. He did one damage to us. He did get a curse on, but only got one actual damage. Okay. Let's see if one of these is an odd die. Okay, that one was an odd die. But, uh, it was eaten by the curse. Okay. Well, is this an odd die? It is. Okay, so now we managed to get Freeze on. Okay, now we can duplicate this. See how see how important duplicate is to just give us more dice. The more dice we have, the more dice we can play. So that's why it's really good. All right, so then we get a big hit there. I would love to get through this to the next cards, but I can't, so. That's a pretty good turn, all things considered. Turn this six into a one, haha. -ha. Not gonna curse us this turn. Uh, that one thing that they have that um, stacks up over time is concerning. Like, that damage does keep going up over time. Okay. Now, I don't know what this is, but we can at least... Alright. Um, I wish I knew if I had a six. Duplicate what we know, the horrors. Okay, that was... There we go. Ah, uh, that's... Hmm, that's unfortunate. Okay. Well, we should... Let's just... Get back a new die. Oh wait, that one's also low. Oh, there we go. Now we were able to use that. This should be enough to kill him. Okay. All in all, not bad. Uh, yeah, weaken only works on the first of cards you draw, so if you can get them out of your hand, you don't have to worry about weaken anymore. Alright, so out of these options, you can upgrade this to return the die. I mean, like, that's not bad, but there's better options. Like, this goes up to 5 damage. Again, not bad, but, like, there's better stuff you can do. Bump, you can use twice. Again, not terrible. Warrior cannot be upgraded. Cauldron, I think you can just use it twice. Duplicate's already upgraded, so we can't do that. This is really nice, though. This, it goes to double damage if enemies frozen. Uh, this one only adds one damage. So that's not that big a deal. And then these mean instead of odd, you can just play any die. Uh, can you actually upgrade Encore? Oh, it only needs six. That's kind of interesting, but we so rarely get around to that. Uh, the best one, I think, is this, is the double damage of enemies frozen. You can do as much as 12 damage with that card if you have the right setup, which is quite strong. Quite strong. You just have to get the freeze in place first. Okay. All right, great. Here we go. So, um, we get the freeze this way. Oh, we should just play the warrior smash. Why not? Let's see what dice we get back. Okay, that wasn't quite what we were looking for, but get another card here. We don't need, well, we can do six damage with this. That's worth playing, certainly. This guy actually does get messed up really badly when you freeze him, so I'm actually gonna burn another freeze there. Oh, but I could have, ah, that was a mistake. I should have, I should have duplicate, I should have discarded that, and then I could have discarded the bops, and it would have worked to this other duplicate. Well, let's just screw over your turn completely, then. <laughs> well, actually, you know, that that was not bad. We made his hand completely useless. He'll do two damage to us now. We just made his hand completely useless by freezing him three times. So that actually did work out reasonably well. Okay. Skip forward, skip forward. Duplicate this. We'll discard this. Now we can get the cards we actually want to play. Okay. I'm getting a lot of cards here. I, now, now I have to stop discarding. I actually do want to make use of the cards I have in my hands here. Okay, freeze a die. Double damage if frozen. That's 12. Boom. Okay. So that actually worked out really well. He did what? Two, as I said, two damage. 
Okay, so this is... I, actually, I don't think I want this. You can collect them all or ignore them. I mean, we already have enough of these. These are weak cards. I think we're good. I think we're good. All right. Anyway, so... Ooh. Uh, ah, okay. So we just need to freeze this guy to get the 12 damage. And there's a snowflake coming up. All right, good. So frozen, 12 damage. We have a juggling ball. Get a new the dice back. Ooh, another six. Oh, boy. Look at all these sixes we've got here. Okay. We'll cycle through this. And we get another die here. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, there's only three cards left, but if we can get if we get to Encore, like that's not bad. Encore is good too. Do that. We're gonna smash. Oh, look at this! Take an extra turn. <laughs> you don't mind if I do. And it just means we just start over on a new turn again. Uh, except he's still frozen. Yeah. Except he's still frozen. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, we need to kill one of these cards. Probably we can use another frozen as I can. Okay, this. I would have liked to have should have kept the low die for the juggling ball. That's okay. Ah, uh, if only we could get one more and we have a duplicate coming up. Well, we'll just do this. You have all four of your dice frozen. <laughs> what are you doing to this poor wolf? <laughs> Uh, it's actually not as terrible for him as it might seem like, because he actually does get to use all four of the dice, but still, I mean, his, he gets a terrible turn out of that. We should be able to kill him pretty easily. Alright, now the only thing is that there's the curse up here. Yeah, okay. I'm, uh, that's what I thought might happen. I actually wanted the... I, the main thing I did was I didn't want to lose the, uh, the duplicate. Anyway, that'll take care of him. <laughs> I already killed the wolf's child, it's true. It's true, I already killed them. Uh, I actually don't really like the thief or the robot's abilities. I wish I had gotten the witches. The witch is a nice ability. Let's see what we can get rid of that sucks. Some of these cards are not amazing. Uh, none of these. It's probably one of the boops, just to get rid of one of these. Alright. And so we also wanted to grab, um, this Lament. We have the upgraded version of this. We don't have, um... Oh no, we have we have, yeah we 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 didn't upgrade it, but this gives us another way to inflict freeze on sixes. Also, Liz's favorite card in the deck, Nudge. Liz hates the Nudge card. <laughs> it's such a stupid name. Okay, so this is the last floor. There's another copy over here, um, so we want to get over there because that will let us duplicate the. Um... Oh, we also spent our money perfectly because there's no store on this floor. We want to copy another um, duplicate. This is the again. It's the secret to playing this class. Duplicate lets you um, just play more cards. So we'll do that. Uh, Freeze is actually not great against the gargoyle either because he, he can use it to curse us, but um, we can use it to avoid taking any damage. All right, we do have snap up here. First up, we want to get an extra one. We definitely want to do this. So we already got him frozen at this point. Uh, I don't think this is a good turn to use the Limit Break. I just don't see a lot of opportunities for that right now. I'll just do more damage. The Juggling Ball is about to come up, so let's do this. He only gets two dice. We've already frozen both of them. Let's see what else we can do if we just cycle through the deck. Okay, let's do four damage. And Warrior gets us two more. And we have some duplicates in our hands for next turn. Alright, so we turn both of them into ones. So he can... Lock one die. Oh, we can actually lock two die. Okay. I thought that was curse on his ability. Oh well. Well, guess what? Well, we can get we can get more dice. Well, we just get some more dice. That's fine. Cauldron. Oh, a six. Awesome. Oh, is there any way we can get a freeze on this guy? Ah, why couldn't you be an odd die? Just have to use it for six. But we can get another die here. Uh, we'll just use this. Maybe next turn we get a six. I could use my limit break, but... Okay, well, he's going to do the exact same thing again. <laughs> just keep locking dice. I mean, he's not doing any damage. <laughs> he's doing zero damage. Uh, oh, but remember, we have our limit break. And these are two laments. 
Yeah, how about that, buddy? Oh man, we're one card short. Oh well. Well, you know what he's gonna do? <laughs> he's gonna lock two dice again. <laughs> Uh, if you have more freezing than your opponent has dice, the excess gets wasted. It does not carry over to the next turn. It does not carry over. Well, that was a weird fight. We just sat there. I mean, he never did anything except lock dice because we had him frozen locked up the entire time. Anyway, I went there just in case I have to heal. The smart thing to do is you want to um, have those apples available for healing if you need them. We didn't actually end up healing, needing them, though. Okay. Get an extra die. Get a new die. Like freeze, there we go. Don't want these cards, these cards are bad. Let's get that freeze just because. Uh, I'd really like to get to that duplicate if possible, but I don't think I have enough dice to get there. I think that has to wait until next turn. Alright, so out of these options here, we'll just do the max damage we can. Yeah, duplicate has to wait until next turn, unfortunately. But we managed to freeze two of his dice, so we just ruined his hand again. This is why Frozen, I think Frozen is like the best of the major status conditions. Uh, Curse and Lock are probably better, but they're also much harder to get, so. Okay, uh, well let's freeze one die. So again, you just want those extra cards in your hand. Discard. Lament is not actually that useful without, um, if, you, if you have low dice like this, but I mean, Eh, it's still something. Actually cycle through this. The laments are not that handy in this hand, so let's cycle through them. Use the juggling ball. Let's see what we can get from this. Oh, that's pretty good. Too bad we don't really have something good to play it on. Freeze this. And hey, we're halfway to an encore if we get it again. I mean, we still got double frozen on him. So like, again, we're just ruining his hand. He can't do anything to us. That's why Frozen's such a good status condition for most enemies. I mean, he's done three damage to us because his hand is just garbage. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Well, that's good. Uh, I want to make sure we can... Wait, no, actually we don't need to use this. We have a Lament coming up, so we can just get Frozen from this. Alright, discard that. We have an Ice Shatter coming up. It didn't matter. We didn't even need to get there. Alright, good stuff. As I said, I think Freeze is the best of the decks that the, the Jester can get. I mean, we, we've taken, like, literally no damage against any of these guys. So this guy has a uh, dice-locking ability, too. Um, but if we ruin his hand, he won't get to use this. That's the hope, anyway. So again, pretty much always want to be doing that. Uh, we have a Lament coming up, so we can skip this. Let's just get this through our hand. It didn't do any damage, but that's fine. Now we have a nice Shatter to do 10 damage. Oh, I should have maybe cycled that. I wish I could duplicate something better than a 1, but I can't, so... Maybe I can get something better from the Dance Juggling Ball that I can duplicate a better die. Oh, a 2. Well, we got a chance again. There we go. Cool. Oh, look what we can do. We've got our Encore up. Okay, let's keep going. Another new turn. <laughs> Juggling ball, lament. Oh, I got a duplicate coming up. Oh, well, that's fine. Let's see if we can get from this. Oh, a six. Excellent. Cool. Well, that'll do 12 damage. And that'll kill him. <laughs> that is a well played gesture turn. Okay. I mean. <laughs> I feel like I'm not even getting to use my limit break because I just don't take much damage. <laughs> Alright, how do we play our way through this? Uh, let's do this. Uh, we can kill the boop if we wait a turn. I don't really want to use my five, but I, I can't use the twos on Bop. And I do want to get at least one freeze in play. Alright, discard. Laments are not really going to be too helpful here, are they? But it's actually the only card I can play out of these three. Yeah, not not a great first turn. I just, I just kind of got stuck with cards I couldn't use. At least we're able to turn uh, one of those dies into something less useful. It's actually a good idea to charge up the Limit Break for the boss fight coming up. This will be a much better turn. I can just tell immediately from the cards we have in our hand. We can bump this. 
Uh, okay, we need to freeze him. There we go. Double damage. Get rid of these. Another. Again, have, have, have you, can you see how important it is to just keep increasing the hands in your card? Alright, going through these, we can freeze a die. Do that. Aldrin. Um, I don't think we're going to need an extra turn. I mean, we just froze all of his dice, so he's going to have all ones. So, yeah, he can do two damage to us. <laughs> Is there a cultist in this dungeon? <laughs> I don't think so. Alright, we have a lament coming up. We need to get over to that lament so we can freeze. Okay. Okay, there we go. That'll freeze. Let's get this out of the way. Another freeze. Duplicate the die. This will do it. I didn't have to duplicate. That was a waste. Oh, well. Yeah, I mean, how much? So, like, oh, we get an extra duplicate. It's not the upgraded version, but we still get a duplicate. So, of course, we're going to take another copy of the duplicate. So now our deck has three boops, three bops, one bump, one warrior smash, one cauldron. The unupgraded duplicate that has to be a four, five, or six. All of the other duplicates, one Ice Shatter, one Juggling Ball, two Laments, two Snowflakes. Could have allowed, yeah, I could have allowed the Skeleton to hit me again, so I'd have the Limit Break charged. That's okay, though. We'll get to use it on the second turn. Probably will not be able to one-turn the boss, though. It's true, I could have let that guy hit me again. Oh, cool. Duplicate. Oh, we're getting... Oh, we might not. We're getting all the dice here. Oh my god. <laughs> all, all my duplicates were up first. Okay. Uh, I do need to keep one low die uh, for the, the juggling ball, so I'll hold this. This one. Just thinking here. Alright. Do one damage. These are four. Oh, we got another one. Okay. He is fro or she is frozen, so that'll deal double damage. She is frozen. Juggling ball is gonna come up next. Uh, let's get rid of these so we can keep cycling. And we'll encore this. So these two we save for encore. Freeze another die. That was a rather good turn, and now we've frozen four of her five dice. All right, so now we've used our Encore. Encore is only once per battle, by the way, just FYI. <laughs> All right, uh, we want to get to the Juggling Ball. This Snowflake is not very handy. I don't think we can kill her just on this turn. Um, it's still been a pretty, pretty good pretty good sequence. We can just freeze our last die, too, if we really want to. <laughs> that would be funny. I think I'd rather do a little more damage, though. Um, yeah, I'll just do the extra damage. So we weren't quite able to one-turn her, um, <laughs> but we did do 45 damage and froze... I thought we froze five. Oh no, we opted for more damage, that's right. I opted not to freeze her last die. Yep, we just turned your hand into utter garbage. And she did just enough damage to charge the limit break, okay. <laughs> Alright. Uh, we need to get the snowflake out of our hand. That's what's clogging up the hand right now. Duplicate! 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 Bump! <laughs> now, do we need all these? No, she's dead. But I'm just trying to show that we can keep the cards going. <laughs> so anyway, that is the secret to playing the Jester, is duplicate. It's the most important card by far. By far! You just keep getting more dice, and the more dice you can play, the more cards you can play. <laughs> anyway, so uh, that's Dicey Dungeons for you guys. Um, so I've shown all six of the classes now. I may try to show some challenge runs with the classes uh, next, but we're going to switch over to our Endless Space game, and we'll play that for a little bit, and then uh, maybe we'll do some teamfight tactics because Grillo and Headwinder are here after that. Okay, let's switch it over.